Hey everybody, this is Grace. And in the past, not too long, I don't know what, how long ago, maybe a year, could have been, I did a video about force, being forced to live frugal, you know, like when you're a child. And um, at some point you realize your family had money, they were just, didn't want to buy you what you needed. For whatever reason, they were frugal. And uh, <clears throat> they didn't need to be, but they were. And it caused you problems, okay? And as you age, you know, you, um, when you get out of your, that home, you might still live frugal when you don't have to because that's how you were raised to be. Now, I have nothing against people who want to live frugal or something, um, but there are things that, you know, by doing so, don't give a person um, advantages they need. That's how I see it. And... And it makes me think, what it makes me think of is something I've seen recently. Okay, when I say recently, this past few years, um, probably about 10 years actually, I've seen um, kids who are, um, well, I've noticed that more and more that kids in school, there are more um, policies and stuff about bullying. And um, so, it's, you know, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a good thing. But I remember when I was a kid in school, the kids who were um, who were frugal, you know, or they maybe they didn't have their families didn't have the money, um, the clothing they wore. We didn't have uniforms or anything, but the clothing they wore, um, people would kids other kids would pick on them about their clothes. The last few years, what I've noticed is that more, more and more, um, like ten years, like I said, is that kids that come from families that. You know, in a big city, say, that are not as advantaged, <clears throat> not as privileged, they're all in one school or two schools, whatever it is, and it's just, you know, separated. That, I don't think, I don't know how I think about that, because in one way it's good because <clears throat> they are not judged, you know, as harshly, I guess, by what they have and what they don't have, but at the same time, it doesn't integrate them into the society as a whole. Plus, it doesn't, this is just my opinion, I could be wrong. It doesn't help them to um, advance, to learn how to deal with people from a variety of backgrounds, um, privileges, and so on. That's what it made me think about. Okay, now also made me think, you know, about some of the schools, they don't have all the bells and whistles, that's what I call it, that the more privileged ones do. Uh, the, the right computers or the right whatevers um, that they need to, you know, go into their society, go into their workforce and be competitive enough to, um, you know, have what others would have. But I can't really say that. Um, I've seen some schools that they do have that, uh, but I've seen some that don't. And I've seen some that don't have that, that, that the children attending those schools, they do advance. Yeah. So, it it kind of goes together, I guess, in a way, when you're forced to live frugal, but then are you being forced to be with only other children, other students, who are forced to be too? And do you ever learn anything, you know, by the school system? Do you ever learn anything else? Do you ever advance? Do they ever learn what it is for people who are not as privileged and they, when they are separate too? Yeah. Okay, I think you see what I'm saying, don't you? <laughs> I think that's enough for this video. If you want to uh, comment, leave a comment how you see it. Uh, if you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you would, and I'll talk to y'all in another video. Bye.